Hello, in this video we're talking about the problem we just had with our mini loader. Not long ago we got this mini loader and we have been using it to help us in finishing our little projects. We are actually building our own home. Unfortunately, this time we encounter problems with the mini loader. First, I must say that we had many questions about this mini loader and one of them was how much weight it can carry. So answering question how much the bucket can be lifted with, I have uh, nine uh, bags of uh, 60 pounds of uh, concrete mix. So that's uh, 540 and has no problem lifting it. So it can be more, I don't know, but I think nine is uh, my limit for, for how much I want to put on the bucket. While my husband was using the loader, one of the hydraulic cylinders just become undone. So my hydraulic piston, the one that actually I use it when you turn, this one is pushing and you can turn the, the mini loader, it's unscrewed. It's not broken, so I will have to push the hydraulic piston back in and screw it and install it again. And hopefully I can do this uh, in a couple of hours. This is not moving, of course, so I need to use some type of strap to pull it back there. At our first attempt, we tried to put the strap connected with the bucket, yet we didn't get through because the cylinder pierced through the strap. The second attempt was the best, but for that my husband had to take out the bolts of the cylinder without removing it from its location because we didn't want to mess with the hoses of the hydraulic system. The front part of the cylinder is back in place. Now the back part of the cylinder has to go in its place. The cylinder needed a little bit of extension because it was compressed too much, but all went well. Luckily, we didn't need anything special to fix this back. We only used the ratchet strap and my husband's hands which are magical and also he has no mechanical experience so, no you're on now so i fixed it but it took me an hour and something feels feels like three hours but my wife she said an hour and something so i use the the ratchet strap the ratchet strap to bring i bring it around the piston and slowly, slowly I push probably like a, a two eighths of an inch or one sixteen of an inch, slowly, slowly pushing back the piston and then uh, fix it in one, one place and was still uh, now it was a short, probably like an inch and a half to inch and I pull it little bit by little bit and uh, you have only one chance, if you pull it too much, it will not work. 
and you will have to start all over again. So I did it slowly, slowly, in that way I will don't have to do it twice. And uh, finally I uh, did it. So next time, guys, when you are uh, working, be careful to check if this ring is stretched to the maximum. And check from time to time because they get loose and then you start having problems. I'm sure that will happen again, but now I know what I have to do. And also, I destroy a, a good uh, strap. Strap, yeah. But can you explain around it how you did it for them to understand how you strap the piston? Yeah, so uh, it's uh, it's easy. You take the ratchet or whatever to strap, and. Uh, So you go around one side and the other side of the piston, hydraulic piston, and you start actually slowly, slowly closing in, and that's going to force the piston to go down slowly, and you go down to whatever dimension you need it, and then you let it go, and you put this one in, the other side first, the, this one in, and slowly you fix it in and then uh, you have a working machine again but what my husband did first he un unhooked everything from here yeah. and from here but i'm talking the part down there he took it out from that bolt and the bolt inside the the all the way in he took him out and then he put the strap across like this all around it actually and then start closing it in to close the piston and once the piston was easy enough to install back, he installed first in the back and then he opened it to the sides because now he closed it too much and opened it to the side till it got fitted back in. That's it. We didn't have to unhook the hoses. The hoses were in. We didn't want to make a mess and we don't, didn't want to mess with the hydraulic fluid. That's why we made it this way. And hopefully will everything will be perfect. So I took the canopy out because uh, it's uh, poor made and uh, the welding, like I said, the welding is just fat welding and uh, it's uh, cutting off and I don't want uh, all that canopy in my head. So I took it off, I put it there and uh, that's going to be a future project where I'm going to have to actually do a proper canopy if I want it. But, uh, and the proper welding because yeah. we have more spots. Yes, and you have it came to... up from these spots too. It's not more, it's not welded anymore it's over there. Great. Anyway, uh, for the future, I need uh, some handlers here, and that way, when I'm moving, I can hold mm -hmm. on that. So, I'm gonna put some piece of probably uh, steel plate on this side, and that way, I can hold it because I don't like uh, not having to something to hold. When it was the canopy, I will hold a little bit, but uh, it's poor made. So guys, uh, if you buy this, uh, uh, you're going to get dirty fixing some things and uh, uh, it's helping a lot. So you're going to do a lot of stuff with it. And I did, but uh, don't expect to jump on something and never fix anything because that's not going to happen. Yeah, you have to tie the screws everywhere and then um, put more nipples to the grease spots because they have no nipples actually we installed the nipples ourselves and like I said tie the bolts every single it's not, it's time not, you use it okay even if you tie it they are not great bolts they are not great things but they are good for small work and if you work them for a couple of hours uh, check on them and then uh, in the winter try to do a project if you have to and uh, I think even if uh, a piston, hydraulic piston is going to go bad, you can replace it, it's not a problem. 
is cheap, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. It's not a big hot piston for a big uh, skid steer or something that's gonna cost you a couple of hundreds of dollars. So they should be really, really cheap. In conclusion, these machines are cheap and yet useful. We had a little bit of trouble with the little things here and there, but all is fine. Thank you for watching and keep in mind that we don't have any previous experience. If you like to help us, please subscribe. It is free and it is more to come anyway.